everyone, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe we've already moved on from the first scrapbook and we're now on to the second one. But I'm really glad I documented the whole journey and if you want to see that then I'll link my scrapbooking videos down in the description below and my final scrapbook look through. Now I'm moving on to my second one and this series is probably going to be a lot longer than the first one was because my scrapbook, like the pictures kind of stop halfway through because obviously with lockdown I haven't been taking that many pictures but I hope you all enjoy this next chapter. I can't believe I'm already starting my white scrapbook and I'm kind of upset that I'm leaving the other one behind but obviously I'm obviously going to revisit it and I'm really excited to start with this one. Obviously with this one it's just year 13 pictures if you've been up to date with my other scrapbooking videos it's year 11 to year 12. This is year 13 so the first memory that I have of my year 13 is my friend's 18th birthday. I've just put some washi tape over the phone number um, for privacy reasons, but this is her invitation card that she gave everyone, and it was in September, so it's kind of like the first event we've done as a group. And I've printed off loads of pictures from that day in Polaroids. Um, I think it's going to be super, super cute when I put them all onto the page. I've also got some placements for when we were sat at the table. I've just taken a screenshot of this layout. I'm just going to use up the other pictures on the other pages and just see how they look and then I'll rearrange them. So this is, I hate doing this part because you'd never get the pictures the same, but I don't want to commit to anything until I know for sure that's how I want the layout to be. So, Flipping this over, actually I'll do a double page spread. just stuck some washi tape on some of the pictures and then I use the washi tape here just as decoration to fill in some of the spaces okay I have this picture for a party and then this one <laughs> my face um I want these two pictures on their own because they're both from the same day and then I've got loads of Minecraft pictures that I want all together on the same page. So I'm going to tilt them slightly, but obviously there's quite a lot of space. So I'm just thinking now what I'm going to put there. I mean, obviously I could use my paper that I've been using in all my other scrapbook with me videos right over there. And I could put it here. I don't know what colour to use. So I'm going to stick this in, stick in all the Minecraft pictures. And then I'll see what paper to use because I was going to use black paper for the Minecraft. So I don't want to use black paper here. I don't know whether to use red, I'm not too sure. This is what I decided to do with the page. I was just thinking about whether I should have washi tape or not, but I'm not really sure what would go um, with the red. I don't really have any washi tape that has any red tones in it, apart from, oh, I have a leaf autumnal style. I'm just gonna show you here. You see this red orangey one? I could have that, that would go nicely. I decided not to go for that washi tape and I went for like a kind of dark, one because the pictures are quite dark and i don't know it has worked to me so now i'm doing the minecraft page and i think for that one i'm going to be using black paper in between the pictures 
so I'll show you when I've stuck it in. On this page I'm only having two pictures because the Halloween pictures I want all on the same page again and I can't fit them all on so I think I'm just gonna have like this here, this here. I'm not sure how um, I'm gonna fill the space just yet. Maybe a pink background um, because of the hoodie and the phone case but for now I'm just gonna write down why we took screenshots of each of these places in Minecraft. As I always say, I really, really like the contrast of white and black. Um, so the writing kind of brings the page to life for me. I mean, black borders, they look nice and stuff. But when there's white writing, it just looks so pretty and so put together. It feels like everything's kind of just pulled through. Now I'm going to move on to the page with the two pictures. And I'm not sure what to do with that yet. <laughs> decided to add some stars just because um I wanted to fill more of the space I wanted to do these borders but I just felt that they just felt too white so I added these stars I don't know if I'm going to add more either side but I'm going to leave as is for now and move on to the next page <laughs> to do what I did for my part one on Valentine's Day where I kind of ripped up one of the love hearts I made a mistake on and turned them into almost petals all around the page so I've done the same thing because I made another mistake because it's a long story but I pretty much forgot to stick in the Halloween pictures which were on the page before so I had to rip all this out re-stick it down and then when I tried ripping out the November 15th it tore apart so I just ripped up into petals and rewrote another date stamp i've got these and this is when we went to a christmas market and there was like fake snow all in our hair and stuff and then this is my friend's birthday party and his birthday is like around december time and you can see the merry christmas in the background so i thought it'd be appropriate to use the snowflakes that i kept if you guys remember um and if you're new to my channel then i kept some materials from some Taylor Swift merch and then at Christmas time her Christmas merch had snowflakes in them grey and white and then she had hearts in her everyday merch so yeah I've decided to... <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna use um some snowflakes I thought that'd be a really cute idea I've stuck the snowflakes in and I also used this washi tape again just because it suited the colour scheme of like grey and white and all the pictures are quite dark so I think it goes well with like the dark blackout city. <laughs> days were both over Christmas so I've got some snowflakes around this and the Polaroid pictures are so cute yeah and then this page I did little snow um I was gonna say snowflakes again but just snowballs just snow <laughs> because this was literally a few days before Christmas 
Because I love using black paper so much in white writing, um, I don't like to use too much of it. So I did 2020 because this was like the 29th of the 12th. So it was almost the end of 2019. And these two pictures, like the first pictures I took of 2020. So I did kind of like a 2020 title page because this is where we're entering that year. But yeah, I've done little squares. I've done this before just so I can use the black and white contrast whilst also not using too much paper. I think I'm gonna leave it here now for this scrapbooking video. I've got quite a lot done in one day. I usually take about three days just for one scrapbooking video, but um, I'm happy with how much I've done in this one day and I feel like I don't wanna make the video too long unnecessarily. So I think I'm gonna just leave it here and wait for my other deliveries to arrive. And I've still got a bunch more pictures to stick in. Thank you so much for watching my new scrapbooking video. I will see you all Friday for even more videos. If you just want to check out my scrapbooking ones, I'll link them down in the description below. And I will see you next Friday.